Hey you guys, Kimberly here. Um, I just wanted to show you this very quick little demo video on an idea that I had for the gift basket for the Southwest Calligraphy Conference in January. And as always, it's so much easier to do a, a little video to show you instead of pictures and commentary um, in an email, etc. It's just easier for me to do it this way. Okay, so I think the few of you that were at the meeting heard me talking about the craft syringes, um, hypodermics, and for those of you who have never used them before, this is sort of a new thing for me. I started using them maybe a year ago. I saw them, I saw a demonstration done on the internet and I was totally sold. I thought even if all I did was use it for water dropping onto my um, watercolor pan paints or on my fine tech paints, that it would be um, a wonderful tool to use because and I was always needing to thin my uh, Moon Palace Sumi ink as well, since it tends to thicken up when the cap is open um, and I'm using them. So anyway, I ordered them. They are very inexpensive. I can get 10 of them for like $7. So if we're doing 30 gift bags, I think that would be what, around 21 and with tax and delivery, probably $25 for this particular gift. And again, I went ahead and did a little packaging thing because I think it's all about the packaging <laughs> for those of us who are um, into that. Okay, so here's what I have. Now this is just a mock-up. This, um, this is not the final one. Actually, this is the semi-final draft. Um, this was the one that I did to start, right? And I'm so excited. I had just finished creating this font Thank you very much, Teresa Wilbur, for inspiring with your um, writing on my card that you sent me in our recent card exchange. I was just so taken with some of your letters, and I know we talked about it, but I wanted everybody to know that I went home and started practicing some of the letters that I saw, and then I made up some of the other ones in keeping with the same style, and this was what came of it and I just love it so much and since then I've done a bold one as well that I like where I hand drew some of the thicknesses in each letter to make a bold um, style font anyway I digress for sure so I just wanted you to know this and this is also a font that I created um, after I had done the um, foundational hand I think um, and I've got our Facebook group page um, website here and I, I played with doing belly bands on this but they were a pain they they really were not easy to get on and off and I have tons of ribbon different ribbons so I thought I'm just going to tie bows so this is what you've got this is just the basic idea right and then you have your syringe and I just hand cut these slits easy enough right and then um, I got permission from Judy Johansson, who is in the Fort Worth Calligraphy Guild. She is the one who created the idea. I'm the one who gave her the idea of the syringe, and then she ran with it and made these into um, little gifts for the swag bags that Legacies 3 used this last summer. And she put together this list of ideas for what the syringe could be used for. This is what I'm actually copying from her, and she gave me her permission. She used it as an advertisement, a advertisement for her calligraphy business, and she had her name in there and everything. It was beautiful. So anyway, there might even be some other uses, but this is the, the list that she used, and I couldn't think of anything else. Um, I have never done dropping... Um, I think we're going to do a program later on in this year or next year with um, dropping uh, ink into, you know, broad pen uh, marker on watercolor. I mean, you guys were going to talk about that with dropping ink in. I think Steve did some with his cards using the Fine Tech paints. Um, but anyway, so these would be perfect for that. I just don't know how to do that. I have some other ideas to show you. I'm going to do a different video, and I am going to show you some of the ideas for using the syringe, right? And they're blunt-tipped. I'll show you that up close here in just a second. 
And so anyway, I had to adjust. I made some mistakes in the in the thing, and I wanted to adjust this so it was more half, you know, moved up. But here's the basic design. And then the back is blank. And if we want, I think um, the Calligraphy Guild probably has a mission statement. I could go look on our um, website. Um, but if you guys had something that you would like to put here, words of wisdom from our Calligraphy Guild, it is a blank space. I'd be happy to put it on there um, using one of the, maybe the same font. This is the font that I used for the foundational hand that I created. Uh, I could have used a font from the collection of fonts that we all get on our computer, but I thought, why not use a font I've made um, from my writing? I just think that was, you know, a better use of the space. Uh, or a better choice, I guess, since we are a calligraphy guild. Anyway, so this, um, we could definitely, if you guys decided this might be a, a fun gift, I, we could definitely fill in something here, right? So, and then I just went ahead and did these. I watercolored um, this wreath um, just about a month ago. I was practicing with my brushes, and I imported it into my computer, and um, I changed up the, I brightened it just a little bit and uh, reproduced it here. And so this is, uh, a, um, originally was a watercolor that I did. And I just went ahead and used ribbon from the green because I like that. But I do have some burgundy to match this and I might run out of the green on the 30. Um, and so I'll mix them up and use different ribbons um, to hold them. We could put one across the middle, but then you block out that. And I just thought that was prettier in balance, right? That's just my, my eye that wants to balance that out. So anyway, and then I would just hand cut the slits. So I could easily do that if you guys like the idea. Um, I cannot tell you how much I have used these syringes. So I am going to do another little video and show you a couple of the super simple things that I use the syringe for. And I'm sure you can already think of some of the same things that we're talking about here. Some of you may already be using the syringes, which is awesome. And if not, um, and even if a couple people, I think two people will be coming from the Fort Worth, or some people who are coming to the Southwest Conference might have gotten a swag bag from um, Legacies, but the bottom line is I use two I have using all the time because you dip them and use different color inks and you want to clean them out really good so you don't have contamination if you're using multiple colored inks. And um, so I have a drawer with several others and when these start to get a little maybe gummy, I've been doing a really good job keeping them cleaned out, but I'll just toss them and um, I will use a different one. But they are blunt, they're not gonna hurt you. I mean, if you push enough pressure, you can gouge anybody. Um, I'm sure you've all been cut by a butter knife on occasion, <laughs> and they are dull. Um, anyway, so yeah, if you if you force that, that'd hurt. But this is a blunt tip. It's not doesn't it doesn't hurt to poke yourself with it at all. Um, it looks scary, but it's not. Anyway, okay. Next up, I'm going to do the little video with a couple of things that I have learned to use it for. All right, talk to you later. Let me know what you think.